Good evening, everybody. What's going on? It's Mr. Fudge back here with episode of FIFA Mobile. I said FIFA Mobile. I said FIFA Mobile. Hey, hey, hey. It's not quite 7 o'clock yet, so I'm just trying to build up some momentum for Friday. As you can tell, Friday might be from Zoom, might not. SBCs are still out. I've not seen them. I want you guys' honest opinion. Have, has anybody completed any of the SBCs? Have you completed Un Uda or Unda, depending on how you pronounce it? Have you completed the Paul Pogba? The rest of them I wouldn't be even interested in. The only one I might be interested in is this one. But the requirements are insane. 81 overall, one with long boost effect, four maximum four players from the same league, three nations, not going to be easy. But for 300 attacking points, it is worth skill boost, it is worth it. But the higher you go, the harder it gets. So it's up to you in the end. I just want to know, have any of you actually considered this? Anyway, heading into Friday's gameplay. In a matter of seconds, we're going to do a countdown. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now it's seven o'clock. Tournaments are back. Yes, they are. I was waiting for the news. I just wanted to make sure they were. As you can tell, welcome to tournaments. Now... As I understand, it depends on how this goes, but, wow. Um, not quite what I want to see. Not quite what I was expecting. Okay. Requires versus tag. This one. So, this is the requirement. Entry. Tournament entry requires 11 versus attack players from the current season on your lineup with an overall of 70 to 90. Access by your purchasing the tournament star offer. Wins with your versus attack to earn featured weekly rewards and access limited time SBC draws can only be claimed once. Three loses and you'll have to restart your progress. You can re-enter the tournament using tournament vouchers or uh, FIFA points or tournament vouchers earned using uh, this attack. So, for me and for most people, this is the worst news possible. What do I mean by that? Do you jeopardise your squad to complete the tournament? Or... Do you keep the score the same and not get the SBCs out of it? Which is why I'm at the point going, uh, well, interesting. I wouldn't mind if you say you have one, but have 11? That's a lot. And I mean a lot for a lot of people. Wouldn't be, I don't know. Honest opinion, you need to win anyway. You'll need to win seven tournament matches. I think it goes along. You get one for every match. So. If I'm correct, you get 10 matches and you go along the streets, not from 0 to 10. Obviously, this is 10 wins. And if you do it, you can get um, 5. I think you can get, I don't know if it's both or either or. You do have to correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it's both by the looks of things. Um, so, yeah, if you win 10 games, you do get that. But it depends on the opponents you come up against. So, it's interesting. I don't think they got any sort of thing, if you like, pro, world-class or legendary anymore. I think that's now gone. So advantage is there and disadvantage is there. Oh, it's not really a thing. The problem is a lot of people will be now debating. I really wouldn't want to do that. Um, heading into here, you're going to see something interesting. I'm on 407 out of 420. I should get promotion tonight. I really want to know if anyone actually is considering this or not. I don't think many people will be, though. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to click on that. My rewards, I thought I'd show you as I go along. I'm near enough done. As you can tell, I've got five VSA players. Sorry, I have six VSA players, excluding more. I know I could get the remaining with the with the remaining ones, which will be level twenty three, but I have to complete today's one to get them. And I'm not sure how exactly it works. So from when you jump, do you get all of them or not? Um, it, it's confusing. Let me just say it like that. You will need to be at least. In world class to compete in this one. I'll be interested to see what they do in future ones, but for now we're just gonna keep it like that. Um besides that, I thought I'll show you my matchup predictions. 
Obviously, you can't copy them, so let's go into there. I've gone with Argentina to beat Italy. I kind of do regret that after seeing um, the 23 man squad of Argentina and Italy, but Argentina, I think, will just have enough. Brazil to beat Russia, Spain to beat Germany, Mexico to beat Iceland, France to beat Colombia, and last but not least, England to beat Netherlands. I'm hoping to get all six for. Uh, I wouldn't mind four minimum. But then you have a choice, a Russian player or a Brazilian. For me, it's got to be the Brazilian, you go, Jose. But saying that, for six, no, for four, you get mil coins. I wonder, like, there's no reward for all six, which is really interesting. I really wish they would have done, like, a 90 overall six, and they would have done something like that, a unique card, which, for example, for someone who doesn't play in the league a lot, but gets a good... Um, nationality, so like a key player or something like that, that would have been ideal. I don't like the choices of Russian or thing. The only thing good about the Russian one is for Yar Yarsin, but the only good one for Brazil is you got maybe Pele, Ronaldo, all of them, Roberto Carlos might be coming into the end. If we have to wait and see what happens, obviously, this is just the templated one, and to be honest, very disappointed. Uh, that's a personal opinion, obviously, you're entitled to your own. Um... Besides that, there's nothing really else to show you. Um, Legends will be interesting to see if they do anything. I don't think they will. I think even though the two weeks have been up, are they bringing back Legends tomorrow or are they not? That is the key thing. If they don't, then that's a video. I already have to find something for that. I can't even do tournaments, so that's another video that I, I can't really even show, like me participating in the tournament sort of thing. Uh, squad builders, to be honest, I've seen them and I've literally lost interest in them. What do I mean? Well, the only things I've got to do is the advanced ones. And for an elite player, it costs more than I expected. Like, literally, you saw me yesterday. I literally got rid of so many gold players and to get average. Like, for example, let me just show you this one. Don't get me wrong, you need one nation to fill up with six players. So, no matter what, you need an aggression Bruce defender. So, no matter what, you need to have that one perfect nation. And... By exact players, I mean players in their correct position. So you must have three centre backs, two centre mids, and a striker. One of them with aggression, and all from the same nation, but three different leagues. Not going to be easy, to be honest. Um, but we'll have to wait and see, like, sort of thing. If you do actually complete the SBCs, let me know. I'm holding back on the SBCs for now because I'm trying to make my club grow in players. So I'm debating about if there's anything I can do regarding rewards and all that. So, I'm debating. I don't have many rewards here, as you will see in a minute. I kind of screwed up. I've got 18, which isn't too bad. I saved up a bit, but not enough for a decent episode. Uh, for the team of the week, I have been playing every single one uh, on the weekly, on daily, on a six hourly basis. The only thing I will say is that like this games like this, I don't even need to play. As you can tell, uh, if that was the second comment on mine on the Play Store, feel free to check out my Play Store and my Twitter. I will attach my Twitter down below. I won't attach my place or review because you'll be able to see it. Or if you type in Mr. Fodger or something like that, or if you just scroll up and down, you'll find me. Um, besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I don't have nothing else to show you. If you're new around here, like and subscribe will be much appreciated. Dislike if you didn't enjoy the video. Comment section down below what you want to see for a future episode. Anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoy it. I don't think there's anything going to happen this weekend. I'm going to focus more on the football in real life and on here, um, come on Italia, Forza Italia, sempre Italia, coming down, coming up against Argentina, but realistically Argentina are going to win, anyway, hope you guys enjoy, and goodbye.